Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I thought I would do a plan with me video. It's the first time I've done this on my channel. I usually post all of these pictures once I'm done with my spread on Instagram. So if you'd like to follow me there, you're more than welcome to. Um, I will leave that linked below and it's also in a little widget on my um, YouTube page. So, um, Typically, I just scrap together my layouts. I use scrapbook paper, and I make my own um, layouts. I don't buy many stickers for planners. I don't buy, even though I use a happy planner, I don't buy those stickers. Um, I just, since I'm a paper crafter, I use what I have on hand. And I like being able to be creative and do whatever I need to do. And, um, Obviously, it keeps my life organized. So, uh, I've already pre-stamped a couple of things on here. Just for the sake of time. So, I did my work stamps, my craft and planner stamps, and my um, weigh-in stamp. And that is done on Monday. So, um, we'll go ahead and move one page out of the way. And... For this layout, I am using this old um, paper collection by Simple Stories. It is Carpe Diem, and this is from 2016. I got this at Tuesday morning um, last year when I started paper crafting. So this is an older pad, and I don't use it often, so I figured we'll do a spread with it today. I've already laid out <clears throat> some of my things. We're going to use um, this washi tape. I put my um, days of the week. I usually don't use things like this. I leave them as is. That, um, you know, is already pre-printed. But I thought to keep in with the theme, we would utilize these. So I have put those through the Xyron sticker maker. Again, to save on time. <laughs> and I already pre-cut my side banners as well as my two bottom pieces. So that's what I like to start with first is this side. I don't use the note section and I don't use the calendar. So we will go ahead and just put that right on. And I don't like for stuff to show under, like the pre-printed stuff to show underneath. And it's hard to get this 100% perfect because I'll be honest, I don't have my glasses on so I couldn't really see. <clears throat> I know that's a poor excuse, but it is what it is. I'm going to cut the excess off. And there is that. Because there's a little white edge here, I don't like that. So I am going to put a piece of washi along the side. And I'm going to start at this end because I already have it stamped and I don't want to cover my check boxes. Alright, so that part is done. <clears throat> Again, I'll trim off the edge and keep on going. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting a dry cough again. Yay me. My husband has been sick this week and I think he has shared his cooties with me. I 
All right, and this I'm just placing along the bottom. If I can get it to stick to the paper and not me, that is. Because I have OCD, this is probably why I have not done a plan with me video. Because I like for things to be as perfect as possible. And that's hard to do and that's uneven. See? See what I mean, guys? It's so difficult. Plus, I've never um, filmed a plan with me video, so I'm actually quite nervous. And that's as good as that's going to get. Okay. So, on the other side, we are going to do the same thing along the bottom. Naturally, that side is a little bit thicker. Okay, maybe this will work. gonna trim this side okay <clears throat> I can definitely see why and I understand why other people use pre-made stickers and things like that because it's definitely not as time-consuming but again I really like to um, just be creative and create my layouts Kind of on based on how I'm feeling I dedicate my planner time to every Sunday and I try to craft every Sunday too today I've actually been um, filming a lot of videos so, not as much crafting as I wanted to do, but I also cleaned out my makeup hoard. And in case you don't know, this channel was a beauty channel before I began paper crafting. So, I hoarded makeup as much as I hoard craft supplies now. And today I finally went through the hoard, cleaned it out because I don't wear makeup as often anymore because I work from home. I don't have to wear it every day. So a lot of the things I had in my stash were actually expired and that's not good for you. So I went through all of my foundations. There were probably... 20 foundations I threw away and y'all don't faint but I had probably over 250 lip products and I went through all of those some I'd never used so I put those aside to give away <clears throat> But then a lot I threw away, just colors that I don't use. And, yeah, I kept maybe 50. I know that's still a lot. That's still more than I will ever be able to use at this rate. But, it's a start. Now, at least, 
my makeup is on my vanity. Every bit of my makeup is now housed on the vanity instead of the vanity plus a bookcase plus another shelf. Just to give you an idea of what I had. It's ridiculous and I'm not done. I still have to go through all the lotion and the body sprays. But I'm getting there. All right, we've got our washi laid down. I'm starting to get a runny nose. Great. <coughs> All right, so I want to go ahead and put my weekdays on. So we're going to do that. trying to go a little fast because I don't want to keep you guys all night. I'm actually tired. So I'm hoping to get this done, get a video started uploading because like I've said in a previous video it takes basically overnight to get a video to upload so um, I have a collab that's due tomorrow which is Monday and then I will try to catch up I like to have videos pre um, pre-filmed but that hasn't quite been the case lately between just being busy and life so I cut out and ran through the Xyron a banner that I want to use for my weekend banner and that came out pretty messy that's the first time I've tried to do a banner in the Xyron but we're going to make it work. All right. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing, you guys. I had another banner printed. But I think... We may not use that right now. Okay, so along with doing my own spreads this way, I also um, stamp what's going on. So we are going to go ahead and do that. And these are stamps by the Sassy Club. Um, these are my standard go-to stamps. That I love. So this one says Happy Mail. And I use the second row here for all of the Happy Mail that I get in, as well as any online orders that I place. This is just a little letter, and I put this in all the days of the week. This helps me remember on the weekend when I need to post my thank you videos on social media. This helps me remember who I've received from, and that way I'm not all over the place. trying to get videos uploaded, or not videos, but pictures uploaded. Alright. That's it for this stamp. The next one I'm going to grab is this one, and this is a social media one. 
So I'm going to take this little box that has like packages in it. And we're going to stamp that on Friday. Because Friday is last call, if you will, for any projects that I have that are going out in Happy Mail. And I'll go ahead and stamp this one. These are just little photos. And I'm going to put that on Saturday to remind myself to upload my thank you photos. And let's see, with the little bullets here, try and get those straight. We are going to stamp this one on Saturday. And I forgot a stamp. <clears throat> so back to the Happy Mail stamp, we're going to get the one that says Post Office. And I'm going to place that on Saturday. Saturday is my standard post office run. Okay, so we have all of that. I don't have anything special coming up this week, so I don't need anything for work outside of actual work. I don't have a meeting or anything. So there's that. All right, on this one I have a payday icon because this week is my pay week. And this is basically just For me to remember which set of bills to pay. Huh. Then there's a laundry icon. My husband actually does all of the laundry here and that set day is on Sunday. And that's what I work on on my 15 minute breaks from work is I fold laundry. Isn't that glamorous? Hmm. All right, so I have this new stamp. <coughs> and I like this goals one because we got an email that kind of, I don't know, it's kind of stressful. I do medical coding and billing from home. Um, I've been with this company for 11 years next month. And I've been in this department for two years. So this is an entirely different world for me. I love it, but it's quite stressful. So I'm just going to stamp that there. You can tell the difference in these stamps. This That one didn't stamp very nice. And they feel a lot different. I don't really, I don't know how I feel about them. Alright, so I think that is it. There is something happening on Thursday. That I want to go to. Um, what can I use? <coughs> I 
I guess I could use these words that say buy all the things. I want to go to my local scrapbook store. They're having a um, consignment sale. And I definitely want to go hit that up on Thursday when they open to see if I can score a new cutting machine. The owner said if I get there, like when they open, I could score one. She had a big kick last year, it went for 25 bucks. So fingers crossed for that. We are done stamping. Now I'm just gonna add the um, little ephemera bits that I cut out. I didn't put these through the Xyron because they are kind of big. But we're going to place this. You go. can't see. Sometimes I hate these paper runners and these parts were a little too big to go in the Xyron. So we're going to make do guys. I don't have an ATG gun. That's another thing on my shopping and wish list. So there's those. I have these feathers I ran through the Xyron. They actually fit. So we're going to use them. <coughs> Excuse me. If I can get it to come up, that is. Okay, so that is cute, cute, cute. I like this paper pad. Would be cute um, and all inclusive to do a pocket letter out of. All right, so I think we can call it a day on this spread. And yeah, I think that looks good. I'm happy with it. So yeah, okay. <clears throat> so standing things are um, scrappy so. at Paper Dreams. And I don't have cute fancy handwriting so it is what it is. Um, for this package I have to get Happy Mail ready. Um, this is crafty time for Saturday. Post photos. Planner time. And crafty time. All right, for work. This is just repetitive. <clears throat> this is one of our systems that I have to hit 
two areas in every day and writing it down helps keep me accountable so I have a report that goes to one doctor every day Friday, I have another doctor to send a report to, and I have an adjustment log, uh, rep another report to send out. Okay. All right, I keep the first line open for all, the, all of the claims that I post, and then I have three lines. Um, on Mondays, I try to pull all of my correspondence. And <clears throat> during my downtime throughout the week, which is very little, I work on my correspondence. Um, this, this week I'm focusing, my goal is to focus on my over 90. So, that works, guys. I'm going to let you be. This was a fun tutorial for me, or a, a, I don't know what you even call these, a plan with me, sorry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, but yeah, so this is what the first page looks like. And then this is the other page. So like I said, if you want to see a photo of this and any other layout that I've done, make sure to head over to Instagram. Check it out over there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Much love.